Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today we're going to take a little bit of a break from uh, the uh, the shoe reviews, and we're going to take a look at a couple things that I consider to be normal wear and um, how to uh, correct them. So uh, we are going to take a look at this shoe. This is a St. Crispin's. You can see that the wax kind of came off on this one, kind of a harsh way, a bunch of different things. And this is a Petra and Claymore a Bison shoe. Same kind of thing. Wax came off. So, what do you do? Well, first, you grab your conditioner. Now, this is Edward Green conditioner, um, which I believe is from Boot Black. And you use this in order to um, soften up the area, clean it off. And so, we're just going to put this on and apply it relatively liberally across the whole shoe. You can see it certainly takes the shine off the wax. You can see this the same kind of work uh, has been done <laughs> on the back, same kind of uh, rubbing. Got some other rubbing here now. I like to apply this with my hands, especially on like a Russian grain like this, because it uh, responds better to the finger pressure uh, than anything else. Now I can use, like if I wanted to get all this old polish off, um, I could certainly use a rag and that would come off. But that's something that I'll do every so often, but not every time I clean the shoes. And here, I mean, this just needs to be touched up. It doesn't necessarily need a full polish, although a lot of guys will just give it a full polish at this particular stage of wear. Okay. So this is kind of a care and wear for polished shoes. What do you do? Kind of keep them going. All right. Now, this is a natural grain where the, uh, the other one, this Russian grain, is a embossed grain. So there's a, a little bit of a difference there. Okay, and again, my hands aren't gonna get into this. This is a really deep grain. So part of that is gonna involve brushing. So now I like to get different shoe care from different uh, shoe makers. I find it to be uh, relatively interesting to see what they recommend. Uh, many, many shoe makers use Saphir and uh, they, they certainly make great products. Um, I do not um, actually have what St. Crispin uses, um, which they have their own labeling as well. And I'm not really sure what it is. So again, I've cleaned it up, but not super, not super clean. Because again, this is just a, uh, a, a cleanup, right? So now this is cognac. These are light cognac shoes. So I'm going to use cognac polish. Okay. Very sparing. Here, we'll see if I can get that into focus. Okay. You can see not a lot, right? And this I'm rub, rubbing it in here pretty hard because I want to make it a little bit more uniform over these areas. And candidly, some of this got a little dark because I just used a dark polish last time and I'm trying to even it out. So, sorry, I didn't get all of that on camera. And now, again, I'm going to just kind of go over the rest of the shoe don't want to neglect it and I want to make sure that it all gets the nutrients from this because I don't polish my shoes very often simply because I have such a large rotation. Again, not very much. So, again, I've applied it on. And here, you can see there's a lot of color variety. 
and the more I put in, more pressure I put on here, the better it is. And again, this will this will all even out much better when I apply the wax, because the wax is pretty corrosive to the, to the stuff underneath, okay? So that is the St. Crispin's in cognac. And I have cognac um, wax as well. And here I have dark brown wax for this one. And this is Parisian brown uh, here. So what I'm gonna do is give it a good brush. Now the brush is gonna actually help me get the nutrients into the leather first. And you can see this is still got a little bit of stuff on there, but not much. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use this Parisian brown and just get that in there. Now, if you really match the color well, it'll essentially disappear as you're putting it on. Now, there are some schools that say, you know, with, uh, with bison that you need to use like an exotic conditioner or, or something like that. I find bison to be exceptionally strong, so I don't necessarily feel like you need to do that. If it was alligator or something else, you know, I would want to go with a reptilian one. But for this, really, really basic, and I'm able to do this very quickly because it's an exact match on the color. It covers very well. And now what I need to do is set that to dry. Now my hand is pretty dirty, and that's okay. You know, that's what rags are for. So just use a regular shoe rag same that I would use to polish later. And just clean off my hand because I don't want the dark polish from the one shoe getting on the other. All right, so now get this one and we're gonna make sure that this, now again, I'm using a board hair brush because it's, these are short hairs, so they're stiffer than if I use a long one. Boar hairs that are long is not that different from horse hair that are long, so I don't really distinguish it from that perspective. I'm more concerned about the length, personally. Okay, so already it looks a lot better, doesn't it? And now all we're gonna do is provide a good protective layer in order to get this ready to wear. So we'll do, we'll do this and I'll open this up. Not a lot. You don't have to take a lot of time. A lot of guys go really, really slow or super careful, you know, and I get it, right? These shoes are extremely expensive. You don't want anything to happen to them, but they're shoes. And you know what? Shoes are made to be worn, not uh, coddled. So you just have to take a little bit of time and really rub it in. And here, It's really just applying that pressure and getting it in there. Now, what I can do, and I'll just move this out of the way here. I'm just gonna and see the more you put on, the, the higher it'll shine up. And you can use a cloth with some water to really elevate the shine. Uh, 
Okay, take a look at that. See how much there is there? That is going to turn out pretty nice. Again, I'm just gonna keep at it here because I see dark wax that I used before and I just wanna blend that all in so that my new shine is pure. I like it to be the pure color from time to time and then I like to have a dark contrast from time to time. And that's all depending on my mood as it is for you. All right, so now back here, this is already dry. Oh, dry enough anyway. You can see how that came out, right? Really nice. And, you know, I didn't put, spend a lot of time on the heel, so that's still got a bit of dark. See? Tight waists, you gotta get in really close with the brush. You know, your higher end shoes are tighter, and that's both good and bad. And there we go. Not, uh, not a very high shine, but if I want it to be high, all I really have to do is just take some small Look at that, a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner, and very uh, very close to being good to go. Uh, I'm looking for my water bottle, and I probably left it in the other room, so I'm not gonna be uh, adding it in on this video, but it doesn't take a lot, really a bead of sweat can elevate the shine dramatically. And get you to where you wanna be. The key thing is, is not to expect it to happen immediately. This is a labor of love, really, to get shoes where the shine really picks up. So now you can brush it. and it gets a lot better really quick when you spend some time just applying pressure in the right places. Now, yeah, I could have done a little bit of a better job there if I took my time, had it in my lap while I was watching TV, it'd be a little bit better, but not much. And I think that's the, uh, that's the crux here, is when you don't have a lot of time, you can spend 10 minutes and have your shoes in really good shape. All right, now look at this. This is already good to go for bison. I don't need it to be more than that. And if I'm gonna put a layer of wax on, I'll put a layer of wax just to make sure that it's nice and protected in case I get stuck in the rain. Because if you're like me, you do get stuck in the rain. So here we are pretty dry because that's the way I like it and Now, that's really not a lot of wax, but if you spend a little bit of time just buffing it out, it looks pretty good. And look at that. Pretty good to go. 
good basic shoe care. And really, this is just a touch up. In 15 minutes, I was able to do a pair. And, you know, if I was actually spending my time to actually polish them fully, that would be, you know, I would spend 45 minutes to an hour easy just to uh, do it. So this is uh, Care and Wear on grain leather for a quick cleanup. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.